Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Friday, November the 6th, 2020, and this is episode 3410. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, Signs. Stay tuned. We have a lot of road construction in our area right now, and signs are of critical importance, right? Where to go, where to stop, what direction, all of those things are important. One of the things that I really enjoy doing when I'm out Uber and Lyft driving is when I come up on one of those construction sites, you know, the ones where you go from uh, two lanes to one lane and you have to have somebody on either end of the construction with those little signs on the poles that says stop on one side and slow on the other. You know what I'm talking about? (laughs) One of the things that I really enjoy doing is that when I get up to that person who's holding the sign, even when he's given us the slow move and we're starting to move forward, and I'll I'll always ask my passenger, say, do you mind if I just take a second with this guy? And they say, sure, go ahead. And when I catch up to him, I roll down the window and I says, has anybody told you how much they appreciate what you do? (laughs) And they say, no, I've never had anybody, any of them. And I've done this, you know, probably 40 or 50 times in the last uh, two years, they always say, no, nobody's ever said that. And many of them will say, but I've gotten the finger from somebody. <laughs> so it, it costs so little to give that encouragement. So one of the inspirations I want to give you today is the next time you come across one of those guys or gals holding that sign, I'm, I'm challenging you I'm I'm assigning you to give encouragement to that person, okay? Now, God wants to have a relationship with all of us. He wants us to be the number one person. He wants to be the number one person that we come to when we run into problems, when we're scared or uh, need someone to talk to. And God gives us the tools. He gives us the signs that we need to reach out to him. In those moments, when we're turned away from God, when we're not in the right place, he is trying to get our attention. God wants to help us. And so he speaks to us. Now I want to share with you four common signs that God uses. One is the use of nature. You know, time and time again, we we see God using nature as a way to communicate with his people. Like uh, God uses dew on a fleece of wool as a sign that Gideon was to was chosen to save uh, Israel. God uses the sun and shadows to indicate 15 more years of Hezekiah's life. Perhaps God will use some aspect of nature to give you a sign today. A more common way is God sends someone else, Right? God sends a sign via a messenger. Now, I'm sure you've had experience with this. Maybe uh, you're sitting in church listening to a sermon and the pastor says something that uh, deeply speaks to you and you feel like that sermon was just written for you. Or perhaps a, a friend or a family member gives you an answer to a problem you've been praying about. Maybe you could be a sign to someone today, right? dreams. Now we have to be very careful with this one. I mean, you certainly can't take every pizza before bed dream you have seriously. The mystery of dreams is yet to be uncovered by scientists, but from the Bible we can see that God uses dreams uh, often to warn or speak to his people. You know, Joseph dreams he becomes a ruler. David dreams about end times events. And um, God warns Joseph to flee from Egypt with baby Jesus in a dream. But the most prominent way that God speaks to us is through his word. I cannot 
emphasize enough how important it is to confirm all perceived signs by God's word. You got to ask yourself, does the Bible confirm this sign? Is what you think you should do actually what God wants you to do? So let me just encourage you to seek God's direction. And when he gives you a sign, like that guy at the construction site, follow the sign. Let God direct you through the construction zones of life. Father, thank you so much for a new day, and I pray that you would bless our day today. Help us, Father, to be able to accurately and correctly read the signs that you give us. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for not leaving us out there uh, in a dangerous place, but you're giving us direction. Lord, help us to look to you, to look for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmana.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Have a great weekend. Till next week, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. <laughs>